Hello, hello, Jason here. Uh, I'm going to tie a fly tonight. We had the Super Bowl tonight and it was a little lackluster. So I'm thinking more about baseball again. So I was looking through my flies and I realized that uh, I've tied some commemorative flies or some tribute flies. Tribute to the Astros, tribute to the Aggies, tribute to the A's, tribute to um, Texas State University tribute to Fami Alpha fraternity, but I've never done, uh, I didn't do the, um, San Francisco Giants. Um, so I've done a fly called a one hopper, uh, did that for the Astros and for the A's. And I thought that I would do one for, um, the Giants today. So, um, here we go. I'll switch it around. So I've got the, as usual, the hat in the background so you can see what it's for but I'm thinking I may have to move that hat because I've had some issues with um, with focusing in the past with it staying focused on the hook uh, that might work out we'll see oh, there it goes again well anyway you can see what it is I'll put it back when I'm done with the fly all right so um, so as usual I am tying on a hook that I've used a lot. Um, so I use usually one of four hooks, either one that I've found, uh, one that I've used previously and I'm reusing um, a larger, uh, like more specific type of hook or one of the Eagle Claw specials. And this is an Eagle Claw special. Uh, you get it at Walmart, a whole pack for just a couple of bucks and you get all these hooks. They don't have to be amazing perfect fly, um, hooks for flies um, for this kind of fly they work perfectly so what I'm going to be using today um, it's going to be a foam body hopper uh, so I'm going to use uh, black foam with the Giants being black and orange uh, I've got an orange piece here I've got black uh, 8 aught black unithread I've got some orange legs and I've got orange bucktail and I've got black chenille and all this will go together into a, uh, a hopper fly um, so I'll go ahead and start off like normal with a layer of base thread on the hook or base layer of hook of thread on the hook And all this does is gives you something to tie to so that it's not too slippery. This hook is actually a bait holder hook, so it actually has little barbs on the top. But I've depressed them down so that they won't break my thread. I'm just going to go back a little ways here. Let that hang. I'm going to snip that trash off there. Oh, missed a piece. Not that it matters. It's going to be covered up pretty well. I just won't worry about it. Uh, go back up. I'm just going to go back and forth here. This is a very thin thread, so it takes a little bit to cover it. I'm not going to worry about whether it's completely covered or not here. Um, I'm going to go over it with the foam, and I'm going to go over it with the chenille. And by the time that's all done, um, it'll be covered pretty well. So I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, so this is just foam from like Joann's or Michael's or any craft store. It's um, thin. I don't even know the thickness of it, but there's multiple colors. This is the same stuff. Uh, the orange is the same stuff. It's just a different color. So uh, just got some of this. I like to go in and see what kind of stuff I can find at places like that because you'd be surprised how little there is to tie flies with there. But then when it comes down to it, there's actually quite a bit there. Uh, you just have to be creative. Uh, so I'll start with this. I'm going to go ahead and go around and squish this down onto the hook. Uh, let me back that off a little bit. It's a little too long. I don't want to be sticking off the back of the hook too far. I just want to be maybe there, because I've got to use this to come back also. 
Oh, that actually might be good. Now that I'm looking at this, usually I use a little bit smaller hook than this, so this might work out fine. It will work out fine, I know it. I'm confident. Okay, and by the way, um, if you watch my fly tying videos at all, um, I put them on, after they're done on Facebook, I copy them and put them on YouTube. And I've got a channel, Quiet Man 28 if you want to search for it. And I have, this will be my, I think this is my 45th video of fly tying. I've got 45 videos right now, but one of them is me singing, so it's not fly tying. But I think this is number 45. Uh, so there's the part of the body. I'll get my chenille now. And I'm just going to tie this in over the top here, like so. Couple of turns around that, and then I'll go back to the front, and then I'm going to take my chenille and go around. And I'm just going to wrap this until I'm until I've used it all, because I want to make this body a little thicker. Just go. And so all I'm doing is wrapping it around so that it touches all the way down, and I'll have enough to go back taper forward a little bit as long as I end up right about there a couple of turns is all it takes to hold it snip that piece off okay got a good start to a nice buggy looking fly and I might still trim that tail off a little bit when I'm done or I might heat it up with some flame and make it pointy All right, uh, next step is going to be the hair, the deer tail. I'm going to need my stacker. Let me find it. There it is. You can see when I do that, you can see all the junk on the desk. But that's okay. All right, so this is a hair stacker. You cut the hair and you put it in points down. You tap it, and then it makes them all straight. So I'm going to get my bucktail. I'm just going to pick a spot, grab a chunk of hair. I'm just going to go down here. I cut it off way down here, so I have some room to pull out some of the base hairs and the guard hairs. So I'm just going to take this, just kind of flick it like this, pull out the short, loose ones. And then I'm just going to take that. Now these are very long, I will say. But I'm just going to go into my hair stacker here. See how much they're sticking out? They're not supposed to stick out that far. Now you can see the cut ends are all different lengths. So you can actually probably just take them back out. But you're supposed to go like this. Get that out of there. Okay. extra hair there. There should still be enough. Yeah, there'll still be enough. So I'm going to cut this off about the length I want it. One of the many things that makes a mess on a fly tying table. Deer hair. So I want that to be about as long as the tail is. Go right there, tie that in, 
spread it out some like that. I'm gonna lift this back up. Snip those off. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to come back over the top like this. I'm going to reach back a little bit and grab this foam so that it balls up some. Like that. I'll cut this back some. take this orange foam I'm gonna cut a smaller piece so I don't have to trim it as much this is just for visibility <clears throat> all this bright orange stuff just helps you be able to see it when it's on the water I'm just gonna go this right over the top of that other foam it doesn't need to be glued down it's just a couple of twists that's all it needs right there And then from there, I'm going to tie in some legs. So, this is a San Francisco Giants one hopper and I'm not a fan of the Giants. I mean I am a fan of the Giants but I'm not a fan of the Giants um, like a lifelong fan I am an Astros fan I'm from Houston and but my wife and I came here for our honeymoon in 2007 and I got to see Barry Bonds play. And he had actually been um, out for a while and he was in a slump. And the night that we were there, he hit his first home run in a long time. And so that was pretty special for us. But also, we had just gotten married like two days later, or two days earlier. And our last name is Patrick. We have some Scots Irish blood. And we went to <clears throat> we went to the game, and it just so happened to be the Giants. Um, it was the Irish Heritage Night with the Giants, and so when we bought hats, we bought the green hats with the shamrock on them. Uh, so that was our first game that we went to. That was kind of cool. So this is the hat that I got, and Paige got a, um, she got a beanie that looks the same. Anyway, uh, so that was a fun night, and that was kind of cool, and we never knew back then that we would ever move to this area and actually end up being fans of that team. Uh, she doesn't really care much about baseball. I like baseball, and I'm an Astros fan. always have been, but I enjoy watching the Giants and the A's kind of equally. Their fields are very different experiences if you've never been to a game. So I see Esther is watching. Um, Esther, these legs are actually from the kit that you got me uh, for the Secret Santa present. Uh, this was part of the pack that you got for me so uh, we'll tie in there uh, so that's that that's the <clears throat> Giants one hopper fly 
And I think I do want to trim this a little shorter on the tail. Let's go there and go there. Yeah, that's better. Legs are still a little long too. So the cool thing about these legs is when you throw this fly, it'll float. It, but these legs will kind of, you know, send out extra little vibrations to the fish and uh, makes them want to eat it more. Go figure. I'm just going to finish tying this off. concern I have with this fly is this thread is very thin and it's not great to tie flies like this with this kind of thread um, it's so thin that it'll cut through the foam pretty easily so I'm just going to be gentle with it and this is a simple enough fly that if I fish with it and lose it, I will have tied several other ones that are similar. And if I'm planning to go fish with it specifically, I can always tie a bunch to prepare. I'll go on the other side here, put some nail you know, polish down on the threads, and there is the San Francisco Giants One Hopper. I use the term one hopper because it's like baseball, a one hopper, you know. There we go. Pretty cool looking fly. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Don't forget to find me on YouTube, QuietMan28. Search it. Watch it. It's cool.